This video is brought to you by Squarespace. everyone so currently 7 42 in the morning and i just took a shower it's the 30th of january and today is my first week of class oh my goodness i had such a long break i am excited to kind of get back to school year because i kind of feel like i need structure in my life the schedule for today is i only have a two hour lecture at 9 a.m so that's kind of gross but yes i'm just gonna probably just get ready this is gonna be another uni vlog i know you guys love my uni vlogs i love them too personally i love the start of the new semester so far so Okay, so it's currently 8.11. I think I'm just gonna make some breakfast just before my lecture because if not, I'm literally gonna be dead at my 9 a.m. So... I think I might just hair like pull over with like, these jeans from weekday. No way, the sun is rising. But first, we have to get bread. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright You and I we got it I just got back basically after my lecture I just hung out with some friends went to the library some lecture work but basically that's my day um, I'm probably just gonna chill lay back and relax until dinner time um, but yeah making some pesto pasta and I'm gonna be making the sauce right now so I just have some basil, avocados, garlic and some spinach and you also need pine nuts so Physiotherapist advised me to go to the gym, so that's what I'll be doing today. So I am just wearing my brown gym truck set. I have no class today, so I'm probably just going to the gym, do some leg workouts, and then stuff to strengthen my knee. If you guys don't know, I tore my ACL. I'm probably gonna head to a cafe to just get some work done, but yeah. 
Okay, let's try this. I wish I had eyes in the back of my head. I've been working on my pride, but the rest of me cares. Every time I feel alive, it be loving me, yeah. You my sinner, don't fold like it's vanity fair. Every time that I be down, then I be running to you. It's a runner that I'm scared, but I'm calling you boo. Please don't ghost me, love me, hug me, hold me, see me, grow me. I see whole thing bragging, boasting. To all of my niggas, working on my pride, I've been working on my pride, yeah. I've been really scared, but the nigga really trying, yeah. Never bite my tongue when there's something on my mind, yeah. Baby, you a gem, I never leave you under mine, yeah. Okay, so I just got my acai bowl and I just finished the gym, but <gasps> look at it. I don't really know why. Like today I was really craving an acai bowl and I was like, you know what? After the gym, I'm just gonna treat myself. So that's what I'm doing. The gym was really good. I just did like probably like 20 minutes of Stairmasters. I'm just mainly there to really work on my knees. Today I don't have any classes. I just have two online lectures. So I'm just sat down in this cafe just to obviously get my acai bowl and I'm probably gonna just watch my online lectures as well. Take up notes down, study a little bit. And yeah, I basically have the whole place myself. So thank God because I actually wanted to sit upstairs with all the windows are because today's pretty sunny but there were a lot of people so I got a bit shy anyways um, I'm gonna enjoy my side bowl and probably watch my online lecture because it's now first day back to the gym a success This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. To create a website for your small business or even a website for your portfolio, Squarespace is the number one place to do it. They provide amazing analytics to gain powerful insight into who's visiting your site and how they're interacting with your content. Squarespace also allows you to connect your social media accounts to the website. If you're setting up a cause, Squarespace offers donation collections with contributions with PayPal, Apple Pay, Stripe, and Venmo. Last do not forget to head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash LNSC to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So it's currently 1 p.m. and I have another online lecture at 2 p.m. but I spend the whole morning just studying. But I'm feeling a little bit dead right now. I think I need caffeine fuel up because my last... Don't look at this. It's not mine. My last coffee is around 9 a.m. and I kind of need something else to get it working. So, we're gonna be making matcha today. The only angle my kitchen will possibly let me film right now because my flat is looking absolutely horrendous. So my matcha ratio is just one teaspoon with one teaspoon of sugar. Let's talk about the monkey girl syndrome. So it's basically about, you know, manifesting kind of basically affirmations and how if you wake up and tell yourself, I'm so lucky, I'm so grateful, I am the luckiest alive, like I'm so happy, I am the luckiest, like thank you for this happening. Um, good things happen your way. I don't really affirm it, but I definitely do have that mindset. I started practicing this mindset ever since September when I moved into this flat. It was kind of like the start of the academic year, all these things. And and it's so funny to me because ever since I did that, I had one video that blew up on YouTube. And that one video led me to where I am today. So, trying to raise my vibrations a lot higher, you know. Like, I do believe that like if you're happy, you attract happy people. And I remember that one point in my life, some minor inconvenience would happen. I'm like, you know what, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I'm so grateful. Or I'm like, oh, you know what, it's not that big of a deal. You know, like, I wouldn't let it affect me. Like, I was so aware of my mood that I just wouldn't let things get to me. And things just kind of worked out this way. So, yes, I do believe in lucky girl syndrome. So, if y'all are, you know, skeptical about it, I really think you can start by affirming to yourselves. Like, I am so happy. I am so lucky. Everything will come my way. Just tell yourself that every day and every time you feel like shit, things will generally work out because you're not letting small things bring down your mood, you know? There's literally so much more to life than that one minor inconvenience. And coming from someone who's really moody or hot-headed, the smallest things can tip me off and like really put my mood down. I've been lacking the expat recently. A lot of things have been getting to me, but I'm trying my hardest to like maintain a really good, happy, you know, vibration. But yeah, basically, um, I got my results today. And I'm really happy. So yeah, lucky girl syndrome is really working out for me. I'm gonna make matcha and make a TikTok. Good morning, everyone. I just got ready. I have two back-to-back -back glasses, and then I have a meeting 4 p.m. Again, very tiring, but today's weather is not too bad. It's just a bit windy. I really don't know what to wear, so I have to figure that out. for my second class. <laughs> Alright guys, 
Again, this is not mine. I just received my brand new mocha pot in the mail, so let's unbox it. I actually have an espresso machine back home, so I'm very used to like making my own coffee. It's always been really natural to me, and I just kind of miss the habit. Because of that, I decided to invest in getting my very own mocha pot. This is the Reality Venus mocha pot. I got this off eBay for £30, I believe, and look at this beauty. She's just so pretty. I got the stainless steel one because they recommended me spending a little bit more to get the stainless steel over aluminum because I kind of have a bit of an edge of aluminum. Aluminum, I don't know, I'm a bit paranoid about it leaching to my food and whatnot But at least it's stainless steel, like, I wouldn't have to worry about that I'm not going to be taking my mocha pot around, so I don't really care about the weight But I just love how this one looks, I think it's just really nice, really sleek Alright, so let's attempt to make our very first mocha pot coffee Okay, so first things first, I just gave her a little bit of a rinse But basically, you want to fill it up with water up all the way to the line And then you want to put this little dish on top You're going to want to fill this with coffee So I'm just using my Cafe Nero coffee So I already have the stove running and I'm just gonna... In the meantime, I just have my ice cup ready. Oh my goodness guys, what the heck? Oh my goodness guys, if you guys are wondering why I'm using a plastic cup, it's because I went to the study center and I asked for ice and I didn't have a cup so they gave me a plastic cup but I think next time I order coffee from my study center, I'm just gonna bring the same cup Oh my goodness, let's give it a taste Mmm You guys do not know how much I have missed iced coffee This is my new favorite thing Oh my goodness, this made the perfect iced latte I use the Cafe Nero House Blend filter coffee thing. It's giving. I feel like it could be a lot stronger. This is my first time making my mocha pot coffee, so I don't know whether there's still water inside this. I just have a bunch of studying to do today. I'm just semi prep, and it's currently 12 p.m., so I should probably get on it. But yeah. Literally, I have so much seminar prep to do, so 